Welcome to Tech Talk with me, David Dondi. If you have questions, you want to find out more about something, david at fmr.co.za, or you can find me on at David Dondi on most social media channels. That's D-A-V-I-D-D-O-N-D-E, and of course, the podcast on fmr.co.za. I get offered a lot of crackpot gadgets. I'm often deeply skeptical, either when it seems to be too good to be true or when the science relies on anecdotes. The collective noun for anecdote is never statistics. So when Red Light Therapy approached me to do a review of their thing that does, well, therapy with red light, my eyebrows were struggling with the real estate available to them, let me say. So what do you get? A Velcro-enabled neoprene band that is something between a white belt and a common band in black, stretchy material with an array of 50 red light LEDs and 100 near-infrared LEDs with a little piggyback battery pack with uh, which USB charges, USB C L not. They call this a flex pad. It came in the box with what looked like a futuristic Sherlock Holmes's magnifying glass with a ring of similar lights. The eyebrows still needed help returning to their normal geography. So while I waited for it to charge, my shoulder got painful enough to go numb, a condition I get often enough that is relieved by a few minutes with a massage gun. Now, massage guns work for me, but you can't get anything done while you use them, either for socially awkward reasons if I'm in public or for visual reasons if I'm in private, because at least in my use case, I can't see a damn thing while my eyeballs are bouncing around in my skull. So... Here we go with the new device. I strapped the light belt to my shoulder using some extra supplied accessory thinner straps perpendicularly to hold it in place and switch the pretty little lights on. Uh, and I do this while I continue typing. The activity that got me into pain in the first place. The device runs for about 10 to 12 minutes silently and I forget it's there. That is until I finish the article I'm writing and notice something. Actually, I notice not something. I notice something that is gone, the pain. My eyebrows move from skeptical to amazed and surprised. Fluke, I file away mentally. The pain stays away for a few days and I try it again, falling asleep while using it. Yep, pain gone again. There are some inconclusive proper medical studies that rate red light therapy as probable, but it's all as yet medically inconclusive. Apparently promising for a number of disorders, pain, muscle recovery, and even skin ailments of various sorts and even tissue repair. I can't comment on all of that, but I can say in spite of my deep skepticism, it worked for me for pain and, well, it provided a good medium-term wellness. And uh, that's it for the red light therapy. And you can get it from a company called Red Lab and you can find them at redlab.co.za and it comes with a recommended retail price of 6,999 rand. That's it for me this week from Tech Talk. If you've got questions, you want to find out more about something, david at fmr.co.za, or you can find me on at David Dondi on most social media channels. That's D-A-V-I-D-D-O-N-D-E and the podcast on fmr.co.za.